I just put my tripod up on books to make it higher and I cannot believe I didn't think of that sooner. Anyways, hello, welcome back to my channel. I've got my coffee, it is Sunday. I haven't filmed in forever, even though I have a very long list of videos to film. And honestly, I think I'm just like lazy because when I do have free time, I just don't want to film. Like I just want to like sit on the couch or like do my own thing. So apologies that it has been so long since I've had a new video. I'm really trying to um, energize myself to finally knock out the very long list of videos that I'm excited to film. Videos about my planner, about, you know, like Hobonichi Weeks planning, functional planning, but also my traveler's notebooks. I've got a lot of videos about traveler's notebooks and journaling, fountain pens. I've got fountain pen videos I want to film. So I know every video I'm like, more videos are coming and then I don't upload, but I'm really going to try. Today's video in particular is going to be somewhat of a review, I guess, of these um, leather covers. These are the Veg Tan leather covers from Moterm. And I know at this point they have been out for a little bit of time. They're not new anymore. Actually, let me move these boxes. Um, they've been out for a little bit of time now, so there are quite a few reviews already on YouTube about these. Um, so I know that like my review probably isn't totally necessary, but I own the two leather the two colors that I got from Moterm. I own the Vanderspeck similar ones. And so I didn't want to just review them, but also do a comparison with their Vanderspeck, like, I don't want to say like counterpart, but like the Vanderspecks that look the most like them, just to kind of give you guys a comparison. So to start out, um, I'll just kind of go through, this is the Hobonichi Weeks cover, but obviously they do make it in quite a few different sizes. Um, spoiler alert, I'm obsessed with it. I love this. And the fact that you can get a cover that is so similar and in such, it's so high quality compared to like Gilio and VDS for a fraction of the price is honestly amazing. It smells so good. It smells like leather. They're veg tan leathers. I mean, truly are that. They're so much, I guess, higher in quality and like just overall from like the pebble the pebbled leathers um you will see a couple different variations some of them do tend to be more textured whereas others are smooth like you can see how smooth this pocket is but overall the quality is incredible it's not as squishy as vds um and vds obviously does have them beat by far like my jl brown vds is incredible and like it's so difficult because like that JL Brown VDS is like top tier. So this definitely doesn't compare to that, but like as far as like a fraction of the price, like it's amazing. I am in love with these Hobonichi Weeks covers. I'm so happy I have them. I don't think I would spend like VDS money on a Hobo Weeks cover like I did with rings, just, even though I'm not using rings now, just because like, I don't know, for the longest time, I never used leather covers on my bound books because they're not totally necessary. Like I would just have the book and a clear cover and that's all I needed. So I have a hard time spending like $300 on something that I personally deem unnecessary. That's not like, I'm not saying that about everyone. People have their different things that they're willing to splurge on. There are places where I'm willing to splurge like a fountain pen, but there are places where I'm not willing to splurge like a Hobonichi Weeks cover. So I'm really, really happy that these came out and I can kind of get the same look and the same like feel of this just amazing leather for a fraction of the price. So this is the shade Caramel. And to me, this one is so similar to JL Brown. I decided to venture into these and purchase them when I found myself really missing JL Brown, um, Janet Leather Brown. Every time I say that, people think I'm saying JL, like JL Brown, and they're like, what are you talking about? So JL, Janet Leather Brown from Vanderspeck. Um, and I actually do have review videos of my VDSs on my channel too. If you search for them, I have a couple different VDSs, which are not currently in use because I'm not using rings. But anyways, um, I was really missing just that rich reddish brown of the Janet Leather Brown. But I, again, was not going to buy a VDS of it. I just wasn't. And so 
I looked into this and I am perfectly satisfied with this. It is giving me the same like color vibe and like similar feel. It's squishy, it's amazing, it's compact. Um, not as obviously amazing, like I said, as the Janet Leather Brown, but it is, I am perfectly satisfied with this, let me tell you. And I love it so much that I then bought a second color, which is in that bag. Um, so I don't actually have a Hobo Weeks cover, obviously, from Julio or VDS to compare it to, but just to go over like the features of it. Um, you've got this big back pocket. You have the two bookmark strings with the little leather like tips on them. Um, there's, you know, I feel like I need to take this cardigan off because I'm kind of chilly, which is why I put it on, but the sleeves are like way too baggy. They're kind of getting in the way. Um, you've got this pocket right here. I think the only part of this that feels a little cheap to me is the liner on the inside. Like the liner is like a very scratchy, it's hard to explain, but it doesn't bother me because I don't really ever touch the liner. <laughs> like it's not showing, I don't touch it, so I don't really care. Um, so yeah, uh, you've got this pocket, you've got a number of card slots, one, two, three, four card, five card slots, sorry, I can't count. And then this like, am I dumb? Six card slots, they're all the same, right? Yes, they're all the same. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. Please ignore that. You know how sometimes like the bottom pocket will just be like bigger and different from the rest of the pockets? It's like that on the passport. I think that's what I was thinking. But no, six card slots. All the card slots are the same. <laughs> Apologies for that lapse in my brain working. Here's my amazing, adorable angel of a dog who really matches my aesthetic. That's not why I chose him, but you know, it works. Um... I'm just kidding. And then you have uh, two pockets here, like two more pockets on the inside. And I do really like those because I keep my Hobonichi Week stickers from Randy Dot Plans and um, Papery Planning, which I do have a code with Papery Planning. It's Amanda10 for 10% off. That is an affiliate code, so I do receive a commission if you use it. Um, but yeah, these are kind of like my stickers that I use constantly in my weeks. The other reason why I really like this cover is because it does fit with a clear cover on top, if you can't tell. Now, the only reason I did keep my clear cover on top was, well, two reasons. <clears throat> One, I have the Milk Tea Hobonichi Weeks, and I have noticed the Milk Tea is notorious for not staying open flat, but it stays like open better if there's a clear cover on it. I don't know why, but when there's a clear cover on it, I can actually get it to stay open flat. Um, but when there's not a clear cover, it won't. So I'm really glad that I could keep the clear cover. The other thing is because the Milk Tea Brown just kind of is too much like shades of brown with this caramel cover. So I like to have the clear cover so I can put something else here, which is why I put the um, Traveler's Times thing. Um, but flipping to the back, there is this little Moterm tag as usual. You've got this small pocket and then a pocket here. And then technically this too, but like this is where I put the back cover in. And I guess that's the same up front. There's two, but you could slip your front cover into here too. I just personally don't like to have my front cover slipped in as well. I like just doing the back cover. Um, and then you have a pen loop and the pen loop, I typically do not even like pen loops on my planners. I cut them out a lot of the time, but I actually love this pen loop. And that's another reason why I really like this planner. Um, you can see it's like elasticized. For the first time ever, I am using the pen loop and it's actually come in handy because this Pilot Vanishing Point is my planner pen. This is the only pen I use in my planner. I love that it fits perfectly. The pen loop doesn't like come, you know, it doesn't um, like hit the notebook or, or the weeks or anything. Like it's just absolutely perfect. I love it. And then the clasp, you've got two snaps if you've got it chunkier or slimmer. And I really like the size of the clasp too. I like how it's kind of like a chunky clasp. Um, so yeah, and then this has nothing to do with the cover, but I really like my deco because I feel like my deco up here really matches also with the caramel color. Um, yeah, the caramel is definitely... It's, it reminds me so much of JL Brown, and for that, I love it. So let me go ahead then and open my JL Brown, and then we'll go to the next color after we do, oh, this beauty. 
this beauty. I better move my coffee far away. So here is Janet Leather Brown. It has been on my channel before. Um, this is, oh my good goodness, this is the most, this is my favorite leather, I think, of all time. My number one favorite leather is Janet Leather Brown. Like, it is so beautiful. It is squishy. Like, I can't even tell you this squish. And no, I do not have stiffener in it. People ask that a lot. It is just, it's like scrumptious. Like, oh, it's so delicious and squishy. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Uh, this definitely, like it feels good, but it's not nearly as squishy as Janet Leather Brown. Janet Leather Brown is superior in every way, but that's why it has the price tag that it has. And for a dupe, I think this is pretty damn good. The color is very close. Um, and even though it's not as amazing as this leather, it is still a really great like quality leather for the price. So the first difference though that I'd say is there is a slight color difference, if you can tell. Um, I actually find the caramel from Moterm to be a little redder, which is surprising because when I look at Jail Brown on its own, I'm like, that's a really reddish brown. Like that's a really red brown. But compared to this, it actually looks more like a neutral brown, even though they are both very reddish browns. Um, it's hard to really talk about texture because every like piece of leather is different you could get a really smooth one of these you could get a really textured or smooth one of these um i requested smooth when i bought this um uh, and on this one you obviously can't request and i clearly got like a more pebbly one but i did request like the smoothest possible so this is kind of the smoothest that your jail brown will get um or you can get it very textured um, so yeah, I really think like, again, if you feel both of them, there definitely is a clear quality difference um, and there's a slight color difference, but I think all things considered, if Vanderspeck is out of your budget and you're looking for a similar color, I would definitely go for this um, because I'm just, I'm in love with this. I mean, of course, if I had it my way, I mean, I would love to get a JL Brown Hobonichi Weeks, but I'm just, that's out of the question for me. I'm not spending the money on that. And so I am so thrilled with this. Um, so yeah, obviously you can't feel it through the screen, but I mainly just wanted to kind of show the difference. Um, and I think hopefully that helps. And then let's look at the other color that I got, which I'm really excited about. And honestly, this should be a pretty short video. I'm also not like the most, I'm not like the best reviewer of all time. There are people that are so good at reviewing and are very eloquent and able to describe things a lot better than, than I can. But I hope still that this helps, that this video helps somebody maybe out there that, that wanted it. So, ah, uh, here is the other color that I got. This is the, um, apricot by moterm and this so this one i purchased well no i purchased them both secondhand um this one i purchased from somebody in the bst group i think and then this one was just from someone on instagram i think but the person who sold me this like i i basically kind of wanted hers specifically because it was so smooth and i am a fan of smoother leather over pebbled and textured i like jumped on this when i saw it and i didn't like you know i at the time i couldn't it was hard to find so i just bought the first one i saw and it's a little bit um you know like more texture but i don't mind it at all like i really love this i think it's perfect the way it is but i am really happy that i was able to find such a smooth apricot I think especially in the lighter color, I really don't like texture in the lighter color. I can handle it in a darker color. But yeah, so this one is smooth, which honestly makes it feel even higher quality. Like, I don't know what it is. Like the more pebbles a leather has, the more it like just feels and looks lesser quality to me. I don't know, it makes no sense, I know, I know. Um, but it is kind of fun to see this pocket is really smooth and to kind of like have an idea of what this would be like if it was smooth. Um, but ironically, it's kind of similar to my Vanderspeck Janet Leather Browned and Undyed, my Janet Leather Undyed, because my Janet Leather Undyed is smooth and my Janet Leather Brown has a little texture. So it's kind of like mirroring the same. Um, 
This is their apricot. A lot of people say that it's not a true undyed and it's not. It's nowhere near as light as an undyed is when you first get it. It also isn't undyed, it's dyed. Like this is dyed, so it's not an undyed regardless. But as far as just going off color wise, um, to me, this is an undyed after it's patinaed a little bit. This matches perfectly with like my more patinaed, actually, I have a good example here too. It matches perfectly with my more patinaed, um, undyed, like, leather goods. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, and look, you can get a little taste of what the textured ones look like. And see, I don't like this at all. I do not like the textured. I'm so happy that I managed to get a smooth one. But yeah, again, the quality, and yeah, this entire side is textured too. But the quality on this is unreal. Like truly, as far as the price goes, it cannot be beat. I'm so happy that the visible side is smooth too. Obviously, same features, the exact same thing. But I truly, I, I mean, I just, I love it. I cannot say enough good things about it. So I think this comparison probably is a little better. Here is my Janet Leather Undyed. This is a pocket rings. Um, and just like JL Brown, this is just squishy heaven. Like the squish on this makes you want to eat it. Like I literally want, oh my gosh, it is so, it is so good. Um, and this was pretty light when I first got it and it really hasn't patinaed all that much. So you can probably tell that it is lighter than the apricot. I really hope my... I guess the lighting, it was really sunny and then it got cloudy. So I hope the lighting it doesn't suck too much. Um, I'm gonna try to move it closer, farther away. I feel like it's more true to color farther away. Um, so yeah, my Janet Leather Undyed is definitely a number of shades lighter, but if this sat in the sun, it would end up the color of this. And another thing that I think this is the exact color of is my Superior Labor um, undyed wallet. So this is my Superior Labor um, Travel for Life wallet. And these two are the exact same color. Like they are the exact same color. And this is an undyed. This just happens to be patina because I didn't spray it. I didn't baby it like I ended up doing with my rings. Um, and these two truly are spot on. And so the fact that this is a Moterm and it, it's literally cost less than this Travel for Life wallet, it feels so amazing. Like I honestly, if you were on the fence about these veg tan leathers, highly, highly recommend them. Like 100% this has my seal of approval because I love it so much. So let's see if I can. So hopefully you can see the colors and how these are really spot on, but then this is actually lighter than the other two. Um, and actually, let me pull back out. And everything else I said about JL Brown versus uh, the Caramel still applies. Like obviously this is a much higher quality of leather. It's like triple the price, like yada yada, but I really, really do love these um, veg tans from Moterm. So like I said, this is smooth and that is smooth. And then this is a little more textured and that is a little more textured. So there we go. Hopefully you can kind of see everything in frame, the Moterms compared to the Vanderspecs. Um, I think that's really it. I think that's all I have to say. Uh, I definitely love these. Um, and if you want something similar to this for a fraction of the price, they obviously come in more than just Hobo Weeks covers. You can get rings, you can get, get all sorts of things. Um, if you can splurge and you want the highest quality possible, Janet Leather Undyed and Janet Leather Brown are my two favorite leathers to ever exist in, the, in this world. I'm actually very upset that I'm not in rings right now and I don't really have an interest in rings right now because I miss these so much and I miss using them. Um, I have considered selling my ring collection for sure, but I just can't part with them yet. It's so dumb because I'm not using rings, so they're just sitting in a drawer, but like, I just love them. I can't part with them, but I, I should sell them and then maybe buy something else in like the same leather, but I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet for that. Um, so yeah, 
that is it for this video. Um, hopefully I will be back soon with another one. Let me know in the comments anything you want to see. I uh, actually, let me, let me give you a little sneak preview. This is a sneak preview for my YouTube audience because if you follow me on Instagram, you, you, <clears throat> you see all this. I post on stories like every day, but I really wanna do some updated fountain pen videos. My collection has definitely grown and changed since my last fountain pen video. I've got some new favorites from Pilot Platinum, Caveco, this special edition, Sailor with the little coffee bean. Um, these uh, Esther books are some of my faves. I've got some special editions that I don't think I had last time I talked about fountain pens. Um, so yeah, definitely want to film some fountain pen videos coming up. I also really want to film... I really want to film some Traveler's Company videos. I, all my journaling and stuff. This is just my weekly, but got collage journaling, all sorts of things. And um, Traveler's Company recently came out with like Passport Olives. There's just so, I feel like there's so much new stuff since I last filmed and that I just have so many things I want to do videos on. Another thing I'm actually considering is moving into this notebook from Sweet Freckle Designs uh, for my dailies instead of the A6, which I don't really wanna give up on my A6, but I really just love this little passport notebook. So I'm kinda, I'm kinda struggling. I also feel like the combination, cause I think I'm finally ready to move into this cause I've been in that caramel for a while. And the combination of this is just, oh, gorgeous. Okay, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!